Alright, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, um, I ended up changing my name. I am no longer Tiny Talons. I now go by Atlas. You guys can still call me Tiny. I really don't care what you call me. So, um, that's not what I'm talking about today though. What I am talking about today is my project. So, as this video is named, it is the start to Project Polaris. Now, obviously, I'm not starting from scratch because I already had these ideas for like eight months and I've been dying to share them with you guys. So, uh, yeah, this is really the video that I'm going to be introducing uh, you guys to Project Polaris. I have a few pieces, quite a few pieces of lore that I have already kind of uh, gathered, made, and I want to uh, have you guys just kind of chew on every bit just slowly. Um, and in the process, I also want you guys to freely think about, you know, creating characters inside of this new world. Project Polaris is my lore of the world building and then also a story. Really, it's just me answering a bunch of Wings of Fire questions that I had when I was rereading the series. Um, and even when I first read the series, I was, I kind of want to say, I was like, I was 12? I think I was 12 when I, when I read the series. Um... I had read this, a few of the books before that, but yeah, that didn't really count because I had no idea what I was reading. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, so I read the series when I was like 12 or 13, something like that. And um, and I started asking myself a lot of questions, but I just kind of left it alone because, you know, I just I just took it for what it was, you know, I just enjoyed the, the ride. Uh, but afterwards, last year, really, Oh, well, I guess to be more specific, eight months ago, I started asking myself a lot of questions. I was looking at the Wings of Fire community and uh, was listening to a lot of people talk about Wings of Fire, and I don't know, it's just, it kind of got me thinking, you know? Uh, so I started asking questions and I started researching and no one gave me answers that were satisfactory. So I'm creating an alternate universe where I answer all those questions that I had. Um, and hopefully answer a lot of questions that you guys have also had as well. Because I doubt I'm the only one who's asking these questions. <laughs> so, without trying to give up too much, I want to answer relational issues between the tribes. Like, why rain wings are considered the lowest of low dragons, and uh, why the ice wings and night wings hate each other so much. Uh, the oldest book that we have is Darkstalker, and I don't understand why it starts off with them trying to prevent war. What happened so badly that caused all of that? Before Darkstalker, even. And then, not just relational issues, but also, like, where did Animus Magic come from? Um, I researched this when I first asked it, and the answer I got was just not... Yeah, it's just, it did not meet my standard of satisfaction. And it only explained away two of the tribes, uh, which I guess is fine. Kudos to whoever, you know, posted that on the internet. I mean, they had to think through it at least a little bit. So I ended up explaining where Animus Magic came from. Uh, to do that, I actually won't be explaining that in, like, right away in my lore series, I guess you could call it. Because um, that is actually explained within the story. But yeah, so I answer where Animus Magic came from. And I also answer um, how the scorching happened. That's probably the biggest question that I'll be answering uh, because the story that I'm writing inside of Project Polaris revolves around how the scorching happened. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll be answering just a few other things like um, some trinkets that we see in Wings of Fire. I'll be answering like where the Dream Visitor came from, uh, who created it, why was it created. Uh, and yeah, just things like that. Why the Nightwings and uh, Sandwings have the most history as well. Uh, notice that the Sandwings and Nightwings are favored highly to Tui. Um, and, and they seem to have like the most amount of history. Their libraries are just extensive. Uh, but why is that? Why is it that they have all this knowledge and not the other tribes? Um, and then why is it that the Nightwings have so much knowledge, yet have the smallest kingdom. So, in the last minute that I have uh, remaining here, I want to talk a bit about the art piece. So, the character that you see there is Atlas, um, and uh, she is in the Nightwing library. Well, one of the Nightwing Kingdom libraries. It's more of a personal library. 
uh, she asked Moon, yes, Moon from Queens of Fire, to uh, help her look for some stuff on the Scorching. And uh, Moon had told her that, you know, it's not, there's not something that's very common to see. And so uh, Atlas went into one of the private libraries and tried looking, but everything seemed so ransacked, and it's almost like they wanted to erase the Scorching from history. At least anything that mentioned how the Scorching happened. And Atlas is determined to find out why and what actually happened. Uh, there are a few Easter eggs there. Um, if anyone can tell me, obviously not the people who I've already told already. This is for the YouTube community who I have not told, <laughs> okay? So I'm looking at you, all my friends that I know personally that I have told, okay? Uh, do not spoil it. Uh, but there is one of the characters that you see here, uh, not Atlas, but there are four other characters uh, that are here inside of the uh, painting. Um, if you guys can tell me what character I'm talking about and the name of that character, because yes, I have given that name. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I want to see if you guys can actually get it. One last thing, guys. Um, so uh, I'm at 439 subscribers. Uh, which is just absolutely amazing. You guys are so awesome. Um, but I was <laughs> planning on, uh, if I reach 500 subscribers, I will be doing a, like, an adopt. Uh, I'll be giving away, well, yeah, giving away. These are free adopts. <laughs> giving away uh, five characters uh, for 500 subscribers. Uh, but that's if we reach that. I don't plan to, but if that does happen, I do have something planned. So anyways, I hope you guys are excited about my project. I hope you guys are, you know, pumped up about everything that's going to be happening and everything I'm going to be answering. I'm super excited, guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, because um, obviously you guys can't see my face expressions. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited, and uh, I hope and wish you guys all the best. Um, have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!